Hey everyone, Steve here from Big Head Tech, and today the game changes, and for real. In PC building, very, very, very few people have ever approached me and said, I don't care what the computer looks like, I just want it to run well. It's just, that's not the status quo. Esports gamers, <clears throat> they're not, you know, using closing cases or mismatch components, you know. Manufacturers designing stuff with controllable RGBs and looks real fancy. So Noctua, who is known for making fantastic products and featured on my channel before, their products aren't as well received nowadays because of the color scheme. They have fantastic performance, well priced for what they deliver, but what they did a few years ago was release their Chrome Act series fans and attachments. And that worked good for people with existing coolers. But when you're buying a new cooler, now you're gonna spend about 180 US dollars to get the uh, extra fans, the Chrome Acts, and the, and the uh, heat sink. And then it's not really worth it. You can start looking at really high-end 360 AIOs and stuff like that with, and it just, there's just not, doesn't make a lot of sense for an air cooler. But, that changes today. Introducing the Noctua NHD 15 Chrome Max Edition. A not, I think it's 90, $90 CPU cooler that now can be used in virtually any build's color scheme. I prefer the stealth black look, but I could easily put this in any system to be honest. And there's more. So here's the box that that came in. Now, this is something I'm really happy to see here. Noctua sent me a second one and I have news for you I love their products but I can't fit this in my case and they gave it to me and it's going to somebody watching this video stay tuned to the very end I'm going to try to keep this shorter than most of my videos you'll see how to enter but I'm really excited because without Noctua's help this would not be possible so a big shout out to them for sending me a second one there's actually going to be probably a different home for the first one, which I think is going to be equally as important as well. But let's open her up. Let's see if there's a big difference from a performance standpoint. And to be honest, if there isn't, be quiet, might get bumped from the best CPU core under $100 on my list. But let's find out. So I haven't had the pleasure of, of uh, taking a look at one of these yet, but this is the LTT edition. And from my understanding, they're going to be shipping these for a few weeks. And then they're going to start shipping the regular ones. And then you'll be able to buy leftover LTT editions on their eBay store. So a couple of things I do like about Noctua. They told me it might be a few weeks to get this to you. Three business days later, all the way from Austria. Uh, but I, I love, I love the soft foam. I really do. Uh, this is going to be an overly positive review. I, I'm sorry. And we don't i don't get these for free they do have a partner program so they're not free but it's well worth it but anyway so let's do the whole unboxing experience look at that soft foam in there that's just that's lovely love it okay i also want to memorize how everything went in here because i have to at least ship one <clears throat> so we have the one fan is separate generally there's going to be a fan in the middle i'll ship with it already we don't want to break anything here come on there we go they, they pack it so it doesn't get damaged so that's definitely a good thing and they even put like box cutouts here just to make sure that nothing gets damaged really just they're really good at this they ship so many of these cross seas and I don't ever hear about them getting damaged Look, look at that brushed. I think, um, I guess it's brushed aluminum. It's just, it's all black. Uh, I mean, look, you got the mirrored plate here. I'll put that back on. Oh man, this is, this is just on another level. They might actually, as much as I love you guys to be quiet because you guys do so much with me, uh, I recommend a lot of different coolers, but man, like, this this could really beat out the, the, the Dark Pro Dark Rock Pro 4 given that it's priced well and now 
if now it's gonna work. So let's take a look at what comes with the LTT edition here. So you get a little thing that talks about um, you know, partnership and you got a signature from Linus. I've worked with LTT a little bit in the past um, and they were much smaller uh, with the Razor Comms. I worked with them very sparingly, but they were good people to work with. You have these guys, so those will go on the corners and all the fans, all the mounting hardware. We have two different low noise adapters, they're thermal paste, more mounting hardware. This guy, which makes installation a breeze. Uh, just everything they need. Um, <clears throat> link in the description below to my previous one. You'll see how it gets installed. I want to keep this video short. Okay, test system time. So we have a Ryzen 5 3600, an ASRock B450 Pro 4 motherboard. The colors are going to vary. A uh, set of G Skill memory. We have 16 gigs. DDR4 3600. We see all 19. A crucial P1 500 gigabyte NVMe SSD, EVGA GTX 1080 for the win, and two products supplied by Be Quiet, at least for the test bench. <clears throat> we have the Silent Base 801 and the Pure Power 11, 600 watt, 80 plus gold. Testing methodology: This one's relatively short. AIO was mounted in the front. Temperatures are, are over ambient. Ambient range from 20.5 to 21.8. Conveniently enough, the same as the previous test. And we have precision boost uh, overdrive enabled for all testing and then motherboard default performance for the fans. Now, before we go further, to be honest, this isn't necessarily about the performance of this um, Kohler. I have the results, obviously. You're going to get a couple variances. So a couple things I noticed right away was all the tests were done on a different BIOS revision. So we, we're getting a little bit different results here. And the other thing is, is the fans, as you know, are plus or minus 200. Uh, so that can also have a factor on performance as well. And with the way Precision Boost Overdrive works, if it has better cooling, it's going to push higher um, performance. And then in turn, the chip's going to run a little hotter too. So this isn't an exact science, but I don't do those reviews because other people already do them. And if you're interested, watch those videos. But we're going to make this pretty easy. Uh, looking at synthetic test here, so we have the NHD 15, the Dark Rock Pro 4, we have the Captain 240 RGB, and then the NHD 15 Chrome X. And looking at the performance here, pretty much fell a little bit short in some areas against its uh, NHD 15 brother, the original. Uh, basically, it was running almost on par with the Dark Rock Pro 4 on a lot of tests, uh, and went from a, a half a degree to a degree off, and actually won. I believe one of the tests as well. So from a performance standpoint, synthetics, it performed a little worse. Um, it could be a couple of reasons and I'm gonna show you one of them right now. And that comes down to performance. So we're getting higher sustained boosting frequency, which is gonna put out obviously a little more heat. Uh, when we look at um, Cinebench R20, we had a solid 30 points higher. So that's definitely a big factor. Uh, 4120 or 4192 megahertz. They're pretty much boosting all the way to five or uh, 4.2 gigahertz, which is what that chip's supposed to run at. And then looking at um, you know, 3D Mark Time Spy, we we're at 3480, which is a huge, 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 huge difference. So higher boost frequencies is going to lead to higher temperature targets. Blender. This one surprised me. I've never had a sub five second blender, uh, unless mainly overclocked, and this was not. So uh, 4.87 seconds versus 5.0. So again, it's, it's holding those sustained speeds higher. So it ran a little bit hotter, like a degree, degree and a half in some cases, but it sustained those speeds higher. Gaming temperatures, kind of a uh, very similar story. It, it kind of finished in the bottom half a little bit by about one, maybe two degrees in some areas. But let's look at frame rate here. So frame rate, we actually did better in superposition. We tied in uh, Division 2, and Ghost Recon Wildlands was pretty much dead heat as well, uh, winning out by just a little bit. I think it was 109.17 versus 108.48. But this is where, this is the one that's important, and that's the final results. Previously, the NHD 15 scored in my score 4 points, um, 
six zero, losing out to the Dark Rock Pro Four, which scored a four point six eight. How well does this one do? We have a new champion, everybody. We have a four point seven seven. Now this is a completely subjective review. This is opinionated. You know, I'm scoring based off of ease installation, what I believe is perceived silence. Uh, the only raw numbers is performance, but that's very subjective. Value, again, very subjective. And um, aesthetics as well. For $90, you have probably the best air cooler under $100. I'm going to say more or less it's going to perform identical to its brother, given the same testing scenario. But you have a cooler that looks awesome just like the reason why dark rock pro 4 was because that stealth black look is awesome so thank you noctua thank you so much for for making this product i can now 100 percent recommend this product to anybody because i think most builds could utilize it even if you're going with an rgb-ish build it has that sleek black look that's going to blend in really well i uh, just note that it's, it's pretty tall so it may not clear um, a lot of cases, I think it's like 163 or 165 millimeters tall. So just keep that in mind, especially with tall heat sinks. So you want to win one of these? Well, first, do note that this empty box, which contains, or which did contain the one I tested, is slated for a project in the up and coming months. I don't want to disclose too much about it right now because it's still early. But stay tuned because I'm going to be looking to everybody to help with this project. It's going to be helping out somebody that I believe is going to really deserve um, our help. So keep that in mind. But this one is slated for one of you. How do you go about doing that? Knock to a giveaway at BigHeadTechnologySolutions.com. You need to email that email address. Here's the criteria. One... Entry per person, you must live or have the ability to receive shipment in the lower 48 states. So I, I will say that if you have a PO box or something in the states and you live in Canada, that should be fine because then you're responsible for the dues. But you must have shipping, re uh, receiving in the lower 48 states. <clears throat> now, in the email, I need a couple things. Let's start with the subject. I need your YouTube channel name. If it's uh, just a Gmail, if it's, oh, your Gmail should be like your first name, last name, whatever. Your, you have an actual YouTube channel, whatever. That should be the subject, that only. I will not include anything else. If it has anything extra, that should be it. Then, in the body, I need a list of your specs and at least a sense or two of why you want it. That's not going to be a deciding factor, but I want a little bit of effort. And I need three screenshots. Please send like JPEGs. Don't send super high res pictures because it'll just clown my inbox but uh what that should include is a picture of you liking the video a picture of you being subscribed so you might be able to do that in one and a picture of you sharing it on any one of the social media platforms you wish now i will go through and try to keep up on this this is going to go till november 30th if you get an ndr please try again or you may reach out to info at bigheadtechnologysolutions.com only for troubleshooting any entries, so do keep that in mind. I'm actually probably gonna make a rule that allows all emails to go through there, just for the time being, uh, just so I, I have a list of everything. But if you wanna win, that is how you're gonna do it. So recap, email up here, knock to a giveaway at bigheadtechnologysolution.com, subject to YouTube name, body's going to be your specs plus you know why you would want to win and a screenshot of you being subscribed to the channel liking the video and additional one of you sharing it on any social media platform of your choice hopefully the odds will be in your favor that is the hope uh, if you like the video hit that like button if you dislike hit the dislike button leave a comment get subscribed by this or anything else link in the description below i believe i'm not forgetting anything nope as always, this is Steve from Big Head Tech, and I'll see you all later on down the road. Wait, I forgot one thing. When I do the drawing, which will probably be December 1st or 2nd, you'll have 72 hours to email me back with your at least initial contact. But it's going to be 72 hours rounded the next day. So if I do the drawing at 9 p.m. on the 1st, 
it'll be basically going midnight over to 1 a.m. onto the 5th. So once we hit midnight of the 4th going to the 5th, then you're no longer eligible. That's it. So that's it. I'm out.